Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have crazy exciting episode today. So we all know that Louis Vuitton has already released their latest collection for women entitled Wild at Heart. And I'm pretty sure that a huge number of us have seen a preview via Instagram. Because of this, um, there are a lot of questions regarding the Wild at Heart collection because we are saying or we are hearing that um, it is actually a, it's very similar to the latest or the past collection of Louis Vuitton entitled The Jungle Collection. That is why for this episode guys, what we are going to do is we are going to do a classic street battle, Louis Vuitton versus Louis Vuitton. Hi guys, Ron Ramiro here, is looking budget art and fashionista. I vlog about fashion, shopping, luxury bags and accessories, travel and lifestyle. I am inviting you to please join our growing family by clicking this small icon here so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramiro5 so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Are you guys excited? So what we are going to do is I'm going to compare the latest Wild at Heart collection and we'll be comparing that to the um, Jungle collection and we are going to see who would win the battle and I would give my honest review and opinion um, and would be giving them thumbs up or thumbs down. Let us begin guys. So battle number one would be battle of Louis Vuitton on the go tote. So the very first one that I would be reviewing is of course from the latest collection Wild at Heart. So for the Wild at Heart collection, um, I'm pretty sure that every one of us is very well versed and very well familiar what the on the go tote looks like. So it's very very classic. So for this one, um, the size of the on the go tote is MM and the price at LouisVuitton.com is $3,700. Dollar, uh, US dollars and currently it's not available at LouisVuitton.com so with this Wild at Heart collection what I'm seeing in general is that uh, the details of the leopard print or the Wild at Heart um, inspiration is very very minimal so as you can see with the with this um, on the go tote the main material that it comes with of course is the um, hot leather and it comes with the giant monogram um, then you are going to see there's another detail at the two top handles of the back so I'm not sure what it's called but it looks like for um, a whip stitching technique with the two top handles and then on the side that this is where we are going to see the leopard print for the Wild Duck Heart collection. Honestly guys, for the on the go tote, so this may actually appeal to some of us who would like to, you know, um, use leopard prints on our backs but don't want them to don't want it to fill the entirety of the bag. They want it to be very, very minimal. So some may like this. But of course, um, for me, uh, honestly guys, I'm a little bit underwhelmed because of course, if for example, I would be doing an animal print, then it's either I would go 100% um, with the design. So for me, I'm a little bit underwhelmed on how they design the on-the-go tote. Although yes, it's a classic, but for me, it's a little bit underwhelming and there so let us check the um, next bag on the on this battle so the next one would be of course the on the go tote for the jungle collection so for this one guys um, it's of course it's no longer available at louisvuitton.com or any boutique for that matter so I went to fashionfile.com and I was able to spot one out so this one is um, the price is 4,010 US dollars and this is a monogram giant jungle on the go and back. So for this one guys, honestly, because um, as you know, I'm you know a new fan of Louis Vuitton. It's not that long that I've been following Louis Vuitton. And when I have seen this, um, because I wasn't familiar with the jungle collection, so when I have seen this here at Fashion File, I was surprised, honestly. I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised um, with the design of the Jungle Collection. So number one, as you would see here, in the monogram of Louis Vuitton, this is where they have um, 
put the leopard print. I super like it. I like it's very, very clever. Then, of course, the top handle and the shoulder strap of the on-the-go tote comes with the Louis Vuitton monogram, which I feel, again, was very well thought of and very well designed. And what I also love about the Jungle Collection, as you would see here, um, this one I super super love because it comes with two prints. So as you have seen earlier, the front part is color black and then the opposite part is color beige. And then of course you would also see the monogram of the Louis Vuitton and the leopard print. And then on the side guys, it's another print. It's like a zebra print and then you would see the entirety or the entirety of the side panels guys. So there is a white Louis Vuitton monogram. Then if you are going to... Um, check the underneath of the bag and there you are going to see the half is black then the half is in um, cam camel or tan color um, that's why guys honestly and then the other side is also um, on, of different color from the the other side remember guys it's zebra and then the other is cheetah or leopard print as well so for me guys, honestly, um, with battle number one, I would give it to the Jungle Collection because uh, like what I mentioned when I first saw this today, I was pleasantly surprised and what I love about this one is it maximized the use of the Jungle print, so more leopard. Then there are two sides of the bag, that's why for this one, I'm giving it to the Jungle Collection on the go-to. Alright, battle number two is Battle of the Neverfull. So of course, we are going to start with the Wild at Heart collection. So for the Wild at Heart Neverfull MM, the price at LouisVuitton.com is $2,730. US dollars. So again, unfortunately, it is out of stock. So this one, this is actually a pleasant surprise for the classic Neverfull because um, I am normally seeing Neverfull with the classic um, monogram canvas. So this one, uh, I like the material that they have used, so it is the... Um, I'm not really sure guys, correct me if I'm wrong, if this is an front leather, but th this is a genuine leather, I believe, and it comes with the giant Louis Vuitton um, monogram. So for this one, just like the on-the-go tote, um, the detail for the Wild and Heart or the Leopard prints are very, very minimal, so number one, it would come with the bag tag and the number two with the straps wherein you are going to adjust the closure of your Neverfull. Then of course with the shoulder strap, um, you are going to see again the stitching. So I'm not sure if it's called whip stitching but there is a running stitch, um, con running contrasting stitch on the entirety of the handle. Then what I love about this Neverfull, um, this one I'm a little bit surprised because with the on the go as I've mentioned, um, it's like a little bit um, plain compared to the Jungle Collection. So this, then of course the on the go, um, on the inside it's just color black. But for the Neverfull, yes, the inside is just color black. But as we know, the Neverfull collection comes with a mini bag or mini pochette. Then this mini pochette is, um, the entirety of this one is in leopard print, which um, made me smile and made me happy that finally um, it looks cute. Um, you would be able to use this one individually or with this bag. Um, that's why um, for this Neverfull, um, I love this bag compared to, honestly, compared to the on-the-go. Although, yes, the leopard print is very, very minimal. And I'm praying actually that um, they have done a lot more and use more of the leopard print for the Neverfull for the Wild at Heart collection. Now, let's move on to the Neverfull for the um, Jungle Print collection. So, again, guys, this one is no longer available at LouisVuitton.com. So, I still went to Fashion File. And I was able to spot a pre-love um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull in MM size. Um, the price is, so I see here that it's actually discounted. Um, the price now is just $2,730 US dollars. And this one, um, again, just like with the prints that they are using for the um, Jungle Collection, I am again super happy and super surprised with the print that they've used for this one so as you are going to see here um so again i 
I'm not really sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Please do comment down below if the Jungle Collection uh, mainly is in um, canvas, uh, coated canvas. So this one, as we are going to see, the main material is black, and then the monogram of Louis Vuitton is leopard print, which I feel is very clever and very cute. Then the top are the top handle of the Neverfull. You are going to see again the monogram of Louis Vuitton in white. Then on the if you're going to flip the Neverfull, then you are going to see the other color of the canvas, which is in tan or camel. And then, of course, with the contrasting Louis Vuitton monogram and the leopard print, which is so cute again, guys, right? So, it's like, um, and then, guys, another thing that I would like to mention here is it, um, you are going to see here another detail that I love is on the piping of the bag. You are going to see that it's carefully thought, uh, well thought of. Then, let's check. So, of course, the bottom part of the bag is another material, another canvas material. So, it's in a mon monogram canvas. Then, if you're going to close up, I believe this is a leopard print. Um, then, of course, the inside of the bag, does the regular never full. Um, let's just see. So, on this photo, unfortunately, I'm not seeing the little pochette. But um, in general, guys, for the Jungle Collection, for the Neverfull, I so love it. It's like, again, I am such a fan of the two different materials. So the other side is black and the other one is in cam camel color. It, I feel like it's like you're having two bags in one. So maybe on one day, you are going to use the black side. Then the next or the following day, you are going to use the camel color. So as much as I love the Neverfull for the Wild at Heart, I would be giving again this one to the Neverfull of the Jungle Collection. Alright, battle number three is um, multi pochette accessoire of the Wild at Heart Collection versus the double zip pochette of the Jungle Collection. So of course, we are going to start with the Wild at Heart Collection. So the multi pochette accessoire. So at LouisVuitton.com, the price is two thousand five hundred fifty US dollars. So unfortunately, it is again out of stock at LouisVuitton.com. So with this one, so again, um, everyone is very well familiar with how the multi pochette looks like. So this is like the regular multi pochette um, accessoire. So this one comes with the adjustable leather shoulder strap just like with the Neo No Way so you can adjust it easily with the snap button then of course it would come with the super beautiful gold chain um, chain link strap then of course it comes with two separate bags um, unfortunately it doesn't come with the coin purse anymore so it comes with two separate bags and then just like with the entirety of the Wild at Heart collection the if the detail of the leopard print is very very minimal so if we are going only to see this one at the side panel and then at the bottom panel of the two um, pochettes um, one for the big and then also for the smaller one so nothing is new honestly with the multi pochette as well except for the side panels I'm not seeing anything different um, actually I'm actually wishing that what they did was they brought back the original design for the multi pochette accessoire or may maybe just change the strap I um, made it to the thicker guitar strap um, maybe they could still use instead of canvas they could innovate with a leather shoulder strap then add the coin pouch I feel that would be a little bit game changer for the for this multi pochette accessoire for the Wild at Heart collection. So again, unfortunately, I am a little bit underwhelmed with the multi pochette accessoire for the Wild at Heart collection. Now let's move on to the Jungle collection so for the Louis Vuitton double zip pochette. So unfortunately, with the Jungle collection, there is no. Uh, Multi pochette, that's why I wasn't able to compare apples to apples. But you know, I chose the best comparison of the multi pochette, which is I feel the double zip pochette. So, this one again, not available anymore at louisvuitton.com, but available pre love at Fashion File. So, this one, the price is 1695 US dollars. So, actually, um, when I have seen the double pochette previously when I have visited the Louis Vuitton store I became instantly a fan of the uh, multi uh, rather the double pochette so for this one the um, 
first side of the multi pochette. So again, it's black. Then you are going to see that the monogram of Louis Vuitton is in giant monogram. Then it is um, designed with the leopard print detail. Um, the shoulder strap is detachable, which is a chain link. So we are going to see here. It's very cute. So again, guys, please comment down below if the jungle collection is made with um, coated canvas. So this is how it looks like when worn by a model or as close to a body. Then what I love again with this um, double pochette. That's why I actually became a fan because when you are going to flip over to the other side, then we are going to see a different material. So this one I super love this print. So again, um, Louis Vuitton monogram, so smaller, it's not in jungle print. Then we are going to see the line. So I'm not sure if this is um, tiger or jaguar print, but definitely it is an animal print and it's color brown, combination brown, black, and tan, which again looks very, very good. And to be honest, um, why, I why I am loving this kind of design from the jungle print because I keep on saying it's like you have two bags in one. So again, on this today I would be using the black side, then tomorrow I would be using the brown side, which again would would make you know it's like you are having two bags in one that is why unfortunately guys like what i mentioned um with this battle number three with the uh multi pochette as a swap for the wild at heart unfortunately i am underwhelmed so as much as you know we, we love the multi pochette as a swap i'm giving the battle number three for the double zip pochette of the jungle collection all right battle number four is the battle of the twist bag so we are going to start with the wild at heart collection so at louisvuitton.com the twist pm is priced at 4150 us dollars unfortunately it is out of stock so this one i was pleasantly surprised i was super surprised and very happy with what they did um, with the treatment for the twist pm um as you are going to see here it's not the regular leopard print that we have been seeing with the on the go um with the multi pochette so they have used a lep yes it is leopard print but it's you know the color is mainly pink and blacks and grays which i feel is very very modern it's like a psychedelic treatment to the animal print i am actually wishing that they have used more of this print to the i'm not really sure why they made special treatment with the twist bag maybe it's because um, of the price but i was hoping that um we have used it let's say with the on the go or um the multi pochette and they didn't go very minimal with the print for the twist pm as you are going to see here they have used the leopard print the psychedelic leopard print on the entirety of the bag i love the silver hardware that it comes with um it looks very luxurious and i super super love the twist pm for the um wild at heart collection now let's move on to the twist um bag for the jungle collection so unfortunately this one is not available at um, fashion file but i was able to see one at stockx.com so i'm not really familiar with this website but i was able to see um, a version of the twist pm under the jungle collection so this one is also very very unique and very different what i love about the um, this twist pm as you see here um there are different techniques that they have incorporated with the twist pm um, it's very um, well thought of very well designed because of course the twist um, bag is very very expensive so the main material of the twist bag sorry guys my voice <clears throat> um, the main material of the twist bag is of course the epi leather um, you are going to see epi leather in three different colors so there is the black there is the red and then there is the white then in between we are going to see the leopard print material and then the le leopard print material it has the Louis Vuitton monogram in white I also love the twist LV closure of this bag. It comes in gold. You know I love the combination of black and gold. Um, then there would also be the whip stitching, the leather, the black leather whip stitching, the one between 
the leopard print, um, the red and the white um, epileather. So you are going to see it's really well designed and it's really um, well thought of. Then on the back part, it's a little bit plain. So you are going to see more of the black epileather. Then the flap, that's where you're going to see the continuity of the design from the front. Um, for this one, guys, for the battle number three, as much as I love the twist bag of the jungle collection because it was really thought of and really well designed but i would be giving it to the wild at heart twist pm right so for battle number five so i was able to see again um the exact bags for but for battle number five we are going to do um speedy for the wild at heart versus um neo no way for the jungle collection so of course we are going to start with the wild at heart so for the Speedy Band Bandolier 25, the price at LouisVuitton.com is $3,450 US dollars. Um, this one I believe comes in two different colors. So this one is in caramel and then there another black. So for this one, um, like what I mentioned going back with the original design of the uh, while the Heart Collection, uh, the leopard print is very minimal. We are only going to see this one at the side panels of the Speedy Bandolier because the front and the back part of the back um, is plain caramel with the giant monogram logo. Then of course, we are going to see a little bit of um, stitching, contrasting stitching at the two top handles of the back. Um, so again, Speedy Bandolier 25, I'm not seeing any different with this bag. Let me double check. So yes, um, very, very minimal with the leopard print design. So unfortunately, for the Speedy Bandolier, again, it's a little bit underwhelming because they did not go all out with the leopard print compared to the Twist PM, which um, they use a psychedelic animal print. So now let's move on to the Neo No Way for the Jungle Print Collection. So this one is not available at fashionfile.com but I went to, I was able to see one at firstdibs.com. So this one, as you're, um, we are going to see here, in the canvas, the main color of the canvas is white. I super love again how they did the treatment for the monogram. So the monogram is in leopard um, design print. Um, then, if you're going to again flip the other side of the Neo No Way, we're going to see now the very beautiful zebra print of the Louis Vuitton. Then, we're going to see the contrasting um, tangerine or yellow Louis Vuitton monogram, which actually makes the bag really, really look interesting. Then, um, if you're going to see the bottom part, let's see. If Okay, so it's not showing here, but we are going to see that there is um, a smaller a zip compartment on, on the inside of the Neo No Way, and this one again comes with the um, animal print. And of course, it comes with the adjustable strap um, where you can adjust it with a snap closure. Then again, what I love with the jungle um, jungle collection, mostly we are going to see with the handle there is a contrasting white. Louis Vuitton monogram. So this one, again guys, unfortunately for the battle number 5, yes, it's not apples versus apples, but basing on the design and um, the construction of the pack, normally I am not a fan of bucket bags, but I am giving this one to the Neo No Way of the Jungle Collection. There, how did you like our episode today, guys? So this is the first that I've done a review where Louis, I pitted Louis Vuitton versus Louis Vuitton. Hopefully, you guys, please don't hate me with this one. But to be honest, um, what I'm trying to say is I'm a little bit underwhelmed with the Wild at Heart collection. When I have seen this one, a preview at Instagram.com, um, I was thinking, oh, it's a little bit underwhelming. But again, I have just reviewed um, five bags from the Wild at Heart collections. They have a lot more. So please go or please do check LouisVuitton.com so you will be able to browse all the bags. They also have accessories in RTW. Um, I love some bags from the Wild at Heart collection. But for me, honestly, if I would be purchasing any bag from the Wild at Heart collection, I would, you know, um, 
unfortunately I wouldn't be purchasing from this collection and I would just be I would just be waiting for the um up and coming collection from Louis Vuitton. So hopefully uh, before you are going to purchase a Wild at Heart collection, you are able to get you know a few pointers from me and you were able to or we were able to compare it with their previous collection which is the Jungle at Heart which for me I feel is very more successful in terms of how they carefully thought of the designs, the contrasting materials that they've used for one bag. It's like you're getting two bags in one um, and that's why in conclusion guys unfortunately it's uh, four wins for the jungle collection and one win for the wild and heart collection all right so before we end our vlog episode today let's do comment of the day i would like to say thank you to kathy manalo kathy thank you so much for watching our uh, my shopping adventure at the louis vuitton green belt thank you so much for leaving this awesome comment i super appreciate your time and um watching our vlog thank you so much kathy manalo Alright, so again guys, I'm inviting you to please join our growing family. So there's a small cute, li uh, cute little icon here. So please click on that one so you could easily subscribe and join our family. Also guys, please do hit that notification bell and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirafine so you could get daily updates and signing tips coming from me. Alright guys, again, thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video. Please do stay tuned on Saturday because we have another shopping vlog that's going live. I'm super excited about that. So I will see you guys and please do stay safe and healthy. Bye!